these motors have uh, two carbon brushes to replace them and take them out you simply have to pull this out pull this out and then push this in and then pull it up and it has uh -huh, it and that's it okay this is the brush and this brush it's no good it's very small it has to be three times the size of this and it says 39A24 so this is for Bosch um, WFL 2400 model make sure you take the brushes out before opening up um, the motor Bosch motor um, has four screws on the top that you need to open uh, simply to access the internal uh, bits and pieces there and it connects um, basically this here to the bearing end to non-drive and, and the state in the, in the middle okay this this part is the stator and this is the rotor I'm gonna take the stator out it's a bit heavy yeah okay let's have a look at it it has two poles and um, it has these um, terminals just for it here Okay. One terminal there, one terminal there, and there are only um, one connection on each. There are three slots, but there is only one connection. If you have a look at here, there are um, okay, these sort of uh, male plugs. So what, what I have to make, do to make sure that these are nice and clean after putting this back. And by just inspecting the stator there are no visible sign of uh, like um, damage on these parts and the winding looks good as well there is no um, discoloration for temperature and stuff okay this is the rotor Take it out. This is the drive end bearing, ball, bear, ball bearing, and it is in a good condition. It's smooth. You can rotate it, and a bit of uh, small signs of discoloration, as you can see um, there. That means uh, excessive temperature and lack of grease or oil. This, so this is the commutator and you can see there are some white dots some white dots um, across the I'm getting the focus across here is white dots these white dots indicates overloading um, that's why I was suspicious uh, and I checked the overload protection um, switch and these are created by the carbon brushes and uh, the spikes will uh, pretty much um, leave these marks and again I'm going to check the condition that's not a big deal um, what, what you can see these commutators have a life and the life obviously can be um, estimated by looking at the condition of it I mean um, it's not that bad and also the depth of these copper um, slots how much is left if 
you look at it from this side, it's not very clear. It's like two or three millimeter when it's brand new. Three three millimeter maybe. Um, now it's like one millimeter is gone. It it's, it has another two, so it still can work for a long period of time. Okay, so that was the drive end. That's the ball bearing. And as you can see, you can inspect the wiring there and there are no sign of uh, damage or um, excessive temperature or sh uh, short. And this surface is shiny and smooth. That's good. That means it hasn't um, touched uh, the stator. And these marks you see on here, these are normal, these are for uh, balancing the unit, the unit in fact, they do this in the factory. And that is the non-drive end, the ball bearing there, it's uh, it is in good condition as well, rotates freely. This is the socket that you connect your um, plug for the motor. I took it out from here and it, that is the overload protection here. Mm -hmm. I will put up the model number of the overload protection of this and I tested it, it's, it works fine. Um, simply you can connect the um, using multimeter with continuity test across these two terminals these two terminals there and the way it operates it's when the current raises uh, across um, the commutators so number four and five um, from here um, supply power to the uh, brushes and from brushes to the commutators so if that uh, current increases dramatically the temperature inside this Overload protection will increase and will trip. So I'm taking the whole motor apart. This is the brush holder, and that's another brush that I, brush holder I took out. So it looks. Open that. I put some pictures to access the brass casing. These are the bearing here, you can check the condition of them, look good, it's um, very smooth and no uneven surfaces. Yes.